FC Dallas wraps up a two-game homestand with a match against Toronto FC. Can FCD bounce back from its first loss of the season? And will Toronto's big money DPs return from injury for this game? We'll discuss that and more in this week's Keys to the Match, driven by Toyota. FC Dallas is coming off its first loss of the year, and it was a close one against Seattle. Daniel, what does the team need to do to bounce back against Toronto? Well, I think Chris Seitz said it best after the game, that the team has put together good 45-minute performances, good 60-minute performances, but they need to put together a full 90-minute performance. And we saw the second half in Houston, the first half against Seattle. Those are the kind of performances FC Dallas needs to stay at the top of the table. It starts with finishing the chances you create from smart passing out of the back and from the midfield. It's also important for FC Dallas to keep last week's result in perspective and not try to overcorrect. It's just one loss in a six-game stretch, and it was by the slimmest of margins. Right, and to the best of my knowledge, no MLS team has gone undefeated through a whole season yet. Uh, Coach Pareja was very complimentary, actually, after the game uh, of his team. If you look at the stats, FC Dallas held the advantage in both shots, corners, and many other stats. So I think for FC Dallas, you just kind of put that one past you, and you go back to what your bread and butter is, running the team through Mauro Diaz, taking advantage of set pieces, and having smart communication in the back. Of course, you can't talk about Toronto FC without talking about their two biggest signings of the offseason, designated players Jermaine Defoe and Michael Bradley. Daniel Bradley and Defoe were both out last week, but could they be back in time for this game? Well, I think uh, it's going to be really interesting to watch that one. And without Michael Bradley last week, you saw a big difference in Toronto. Of course, they lost at home to Colorado. There wasn't really a reason given why exactly he missed the game, but I think we'll see him back this weekend. With regards to Defoe, Toronto is actually pretty well set up to uh, handle his absence with Gilberto, the other designated player, Dwayne De Rosario up front. So they have some options there, but without Bradley, you can really see a big difference in their team. Saturday's match is presented by TXA21 and will be broadcast in high definition locally on TXA21. Gates will open at 6 p.m. for that 7.30 p.m. kickoff. For the English radio call, be sure to tune in to The Word 100.7 with Steve Davis. And for our Spanish listeners, catch the game on 1270 AM La Voz del Pueblo with your host, Carlos Alvarado. That does it for us this week. For the keys to the match driven by Toyota, I'm Scott Brown. And I'm Daniel Robertson. We'll see you on Saturday night at Toyota Stadium.